I ordered this Stellar Labs TV antenna kit from an electronics company called Newark. Today we're going to unbox it and test it out. And this kit only cost me $27 Canadian, but it's available from Newark in the States for less than $20. So kind of an irresistible deal. So this really is a complete kit. You get the antenna, 50 feet of coax cable, a mounting pole, as well as some hardware. And this is a high VHF, UHF antenna. And it says a 40 mile range, but the broadcast towers in my area are much closer than that. And also the antenna is pre-assembled. So let's open it up and have a look. So out of the box, we've got the mounting post and the bracket, some hardware. There's the coax, it's 50 feet, and it does have ends already installed, so that's good. And the antenna is pretty much just folded up, so pretty compact. Let's get it put together. In this video, I'm showing the assembly of the mounting post just for demonstration purposes. But when I actually install this antenna, it'll be going on a mast on a tripod in my backyard. The bolts that come with this kit are an odd sized metric 10 millimeter bolt. Fortunately, I have a wrench that fits that being Canadian and all. But for some of you, you might just have to stick with a good old crescent wrench. And the antenna is pretty much assembled as it is. All you have to do is snap these elements into place but it is recommended in the instructions that you loosen these four screws just to avoid straining the plastic clips too much so here's a look at the antenna fully assembled the overall boom length of the antenna is 32 inches and these rear elements are 40 inches across so i do hold out some hope for low vhf reception a couple of other features about it. It does have this integrated RF connector right here, which has a little weather cover on it. So that's kind of nice. And also the mast clamp has wing nuts on it. So that should make for a quick, easy install on a pole. A couple of other minor details about this kit. The anchors and leg screws here that came with the kit, I will not be using. Those are only used if you're mounting the antenna to a brick wall or something like that. So we're not gonna use those today. And upon further inspection, this coax cable that came with the kit is actually only RG59. It's a little on the thin side and is probably prone to some signal loss. So I wouldn't recommend using that. I would recommend using at least an RG6 coax cable, especially for an outdoor antenna install. So I've got this antenna mounted on a post about 11 feet in the air on this tripod. It's pointed in a northeasterly direction. There is a tree there that may cause some interference, especially with channel four, that's my main concern. So let's uh, go to the TV and see what it's doing. For channel nine, we're getting signal strength in the high 50s and low to mid 60s. But with other antennas, I've picked this channel up with much higher signal quality. And here is channel two. Kind of surprising that we're picking this up at all. The signal's low, high 40s, low 50s, but the picture is stable. So I guess that's a good thing. And channel four, no luck at all. Not a surprise. Channel four is finicky at the best of times. The best we're getting right now is some random pixelation. And just to give this antenna a fair shake, I moved it to a second location here, one that's a little more clear of trees, and it's still pointed in a northeasterly direction towards channels two and four. So hopefully that gets a little better. So here's channel two, and no real change in the signal quality. Still high 40s, low 50s, stable picture though. So I guess that's still a good thing. And channel four is still not coming in. Not a huge surprise, although I thought that moving the antenna would give this channel more of a chance, but this is a finicky channel anyways. And channel nine, 
got the biggest gain from moving this antenna. Now the signal is pretty stable up in the mid 70s. And I think that speaks to the fact that this antenna is really made for high VHF and UHF. And based on the size of the UHF elements, I'm pretty sure it would pick up UHF nicely as well. But don't buy this antenna for low VHF. If you need low VHF reception, then have a look at other TV antennas. But if you're looking for an outdoor TV antenna that gets good high VHF and presumably UHF reception in a compact size and decent build quality, and all at a $20 price point, have a look at this kit, the model 30-2485 antenna kit from Stellar Labs. This would also be a great starter antenna for anyone new to over-the-air television or anyone trying out an outdoor TV antenna for the first time. The $20 price tag makes this an irresistible deal.